Hello, my name is Julio with Kipus Bookkeeping and I help Shopify merchants with e-commerce bookkeeping. I specialize in e-commerce bookkeeping for Shopify stores. I can help you clean up, set up and organize your financials so you can focus on your customers. In this video, I will be talking about reconciling Shopify transactions into QuickBooks Online. When we look at the numbers in Shopify, these are the sales, which is income. It could also be returns and refunds and sales taxes. And then when we go and look at the numbers in QuickBooks, we see the deposits. Uh, these deposits are from the Shopify payments or the PayPal, or it can be Amazon payments. It also has fees and other. So what we have to do between those two numbers is reconcile. We have to see how we came from the Shopify sales number and we got to the deposits in QuickBooks. So I made a quick report of finance uh, sample report. And this is pretty much the same as uh, a, a report you would find in, in Shopify. So in here we see the sales, which is uh, the gross sales, the discounts, returns, um, and this would be the net of the net sales. Uh, we also have the taxes and gift card sales. So the total payments would be uh, fifty-two forty-eight and twenty-five cents. A total uh, Shopify payments. So this would be the payout reported um, from Shopify. Um, this is showing us how much it was paid, how much it was deposited into our bank, and we see here that the that the payout report, 5104 and 56 cents, it's not the same as the 5248 and 25 cents that we got in the uh, report of finance. So that's because we have to take into consideration fees and adjustments. So if we look at the payout report, we see here that the total amount paid out, it's not the same as the uh, total payments from the report of finances in Shopify. We have to take into account that the payout report is um, net of fees. So in this case, it would be uh, 144 and any adjustments. So we see here 5104, it's less than this 52, um, 48 and 25 cents. So let's see here if we do um, 5248, 25 cents plus the fees plus the adjustments and gives us 5104 and 56 cents. That's that's how the report of finance with the total payments from Shopify ties in into the payout report. So this 5104 and 56 cents you're gonna see in your banking feed in, in uh, QuickBooks. Keep in mind that it's not gonna match the 5248 and 25 cents because you have to do fees and adjustments. Now fees and adjustments, we have to do a journal entry for them and that's part of uh, the reconciliation. So this, that's how we tie in payout to the Shopify uh, report of finances. I hope this video was helpful and gave you a better understanding about reconciling Shopify transactions to QuickBooks Online. If you need any further help with your Shopify bookkeeping, please reach out to me. I'll see you in the next video.